I think uh, we go into something very modern, which is social networks. Um, and I would like to invite to stage Ilse Hartmann. And her basic premise is why do we use different old types of advertisement if you, we can use social networks? And maybe we are wrong on that. So floor is yours, Ilse. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ilse Hartmann, and um, I will tell you about my bachelor thesis, which is analysis of different media channels and building corporate image. Uh, this is my presentation outline, what I will tell you today. And uh, my bachelor thesis is connected basically about corporate, uh, corporate image and media channels. Media channels, as we know, are the tools to communicate and carry information. It is used by a lot of people, including companies, and corporate image is uh, something that uh, people think about, that's something what comes into their minds when they think about a company. And also it is really important because it affects current and future relationships internally, wait, sorry, uh, internally and externally. So because uh, corporate image is so important and media ch channels are so uh, different, uh, I combined these two factors uh, to look upon their relationship and created my research question. How different media channels used specifically by society affect corporate image of a company? I will tell you now more little about facts that I researched in uh, my bachelor thesis about media channels. So um, basically internet, as we know, are, is rapidly increasing and approximately 10% each year users are increasing. Um, trend for the most active users still 2017 uh, has social network Facebook. Uh, even though social networks are used by a lot of generations, mostly people from 16 to 24 years of age. As well, um, to communicate, uh, it appears that people prefer to communicate with emails with companies, 70%. And, um, from company's side, they're still using for marketing not only media channels and websites, but also print. If we're talking about corporate image, it is something really quickly created, and it is also really hard to control from company's side. And it really affects a lot of aspects of a company. It affects loyalty, word of mouth, as well as retention, selection process in the company itself. So I looked upon what else influences corporate image. And it is one of the factors is company's culture, which as, we, which as we know is beliefs, norms, and values, as you can see in this graph I can show you <laughs> on the right side. And um, values, that's why it's something that I looked even deeper in, in my work. So it seems that customers uh, which values are matching with companies, they tend to buy more with, from this company. As well as uh, from employee side, they also wish that their vision, mission, and values connect with the companies which they are working for. Good example from this side is company Zappos, uh, which is selling uh, shoes actually, and they're working with their uh, core values internally and externally with their employees and also with their customers. And even uh, as the internet is growing so rapidly, also people is looking in the internet to look for new businesses, and actually 12% does it every day to look to, the, to find local businesses. And another really interesting research that I found states that actually content is not as important as the media channel. Content is more important than the um, media channel used by the company. So, I made the research, and now more about my specific research. So I created an online survey with 23 questions in two languages, and I asked uh, my respondents uh, which media they are using to analyze four specific companies. I took two retail companies and two telecommunication companies, just to compare. And I asked if they are clients to these companies and to also recognize core values of these companies. And yes, the research um, in my survey, I took statements which uh, are used to measure the attitude from a similar research that offers this interesting uh, way to measure a company. And core values which uh, were recognized by people were taken from the web pages of those four companies which I evaluated. 
So yes, uh, more uh, about my respondents. Minimum age was 12 years and maximum age 70 years. Uh, in total, 137 respondents, from which 69% were women and 31 men. And as you can see, uh, from education perspective, uh, most of my respondents have unfinished bachelor de degrees, but also a master's education and primary school education. Um, if we're talking about being clients to these companies, then uh, in retail companies, 93% are using both companies' uh, products, but in telecommunication companies, only 70%. Now about my results. As I found out, uh, my respondents mostly are using social networks. And this is uh, pretty logical because I also had an online survey. But interesting is also that, that those who use only one media channels daily are also those who use only social networks. And on the right side, you can see I compared four companies' uh, attitude, taking into account 13 factors from this research. And uh, each color represents one company. And uh, for more exploratory statistics, I compared these four companies, taking into account those respondents who use only one media channels, in my case, social networks, with those who use all media channels every day. This is uh, uh, first and second then. And you can see that the attitude is more pronounced to those who use all media channels. If uh, respondents are evaluating, for example, the blue second company lower, uh, when they're using all media channels, their attitude is more pronounced. And the same is seen for, the, for example, the yellow company, when uh, they're evaluating it uh, better on average in all media channels, it also is pronounced on upside. But also, we can sense that the trend of the, wor the best and the worst evaluated companies doesn't change. And uh, because of my respondent amount, the change between one and all media channels are really quite small. So we can say that if companies would choose only one media, for example, social media, they could possibly have equally good corporate image. And one example could be Google. They are really famous and popular company, but they are hardly ever found in any other media than social media. And also, their, one of their self-advertisement techniques are through their products, also through social media. So to, to conclude that these factors, media channels and corporate image, are independent factors, I also made some statistic methods, uh, from which one was uh, G-square test. And uh, yes, I concluded this, that these uh, elements are independent. And because these elements are independent, I wanted to look most um, like in uh, more deeply in uh, core values, which also affects company. As we know, corporate image changes really fast and it's hard to control. That core values is something that company actually can change itself in the company. That's why from these four companies, I took their core values from web pages and just tested whether respondents could recognize them from those three other companies. And, uh, Results actually showed that from all four companies, approximately 83% couldn't actually recognize values. Yes, and on the left side, you can actually see some of the values that I take, took. So my conclusions. Even though those people who use uh, more channels, their attitude is more M pronounced, still these factors are independent. Company should more put them emphasizes on the content and not think about the channel that respondents use and uh, possibly think more about their core values. Yes, and um, if I'm talking about my referee questions, I had three questions. So firstly, if I would have took, uh, taken uh, four different companies, uh, the conclusion overall would be the same, but of course, as uh, corporate image is unique for every company and each uh, and society sees each company differently, the corporate image would be, on average, different. And um, the only thing that were uh, kind of intuitive at first was the relationship between those two factors that there could be. But how, how strong and what would be more influential wasn't intuitive. And if we're talking about recent security breaches and social media platforms, in my opinion, uh, internet is growing rapidly. and. Uh, like technologies as a, as a whole. So in my opinion, society will still use media channels 
And um, that's why companies will also probably will do the same. But both will think more about security, user um, privacy, as well as creating trust between company and employees. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Questions from our telecom team? Um, more two suggestions. Um, on your literature slide, you mentioned, you had a reference in, to Kleiner Perkins' um, manual internet trends, and then you said something that 70% of customers um, prefer email to communicate with companies. Um, so for me, what I missed in your thesis is, is narrowing down who is the customer segment you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Because your literature is, was somewhat generalized, and if you look at the same um, Kleiner Perkins survey, they show that the channels how people com um, communicate with companies radically differ at each age group, right? Your generation is three times more likely to use chat interface compared to my generation. Mm -hmm. um, so I would suggest you not to generalize and then when you showed your actual research data, you know, it was obvious that most of the respondents were your course mates. So then just narrow down and you can say that, you know, this is a research about generation who is aged now, what, 20, 25, um, and, and, and focus there. Then your insights perhaps would be sort of more valuable in terms of particular customer segment. Mm 